After a major bridge collapsed in Minnesota in 2007, Congress provided full funding within three days. But six months after the tragedy on the Patapsco River, it could be the wreckage left by Hurricane Helene that gets congressional funding for a new key bridge over the finish line. When 11 News Investigates spoke with Maryland U.S. Senator Ben Cardin in September, he acknowledged that 100 percent federal funding to rebuild the Francis Scott Key Bridge would have to wait until Congress reconvened after November's election. The bill we really want to get done as soon as possible is changing the 90 percent reimbursement by the federal government to 100 percent. But the specific plan for how to get that 100 percent funding across the finish line has been elusive. That is, until this week. So what changed? The need to respond to Hurricane Helene. I expect we're going to provide some relief, and in that package could very well be the key bridge authorization at 100 percent. Cardin says congressional funding for disaster relief in the wake of Hurricane Helene needs to be passed before Congress adjourns in December. Maryland Congressman Andy Harris said on Wednesday that he agrees that relief funding for Helene could be the vehicle to get the remaining 10 percent federal funding approved. But the two differ on where the estimated $2 billion price tag will come from. All third-party reimbursements from insurance or claims, and we know there are lots of claims out there, will reimburse the, the federal taxpayers. We find money in another part of the budget and spend it on the key bridge instead. And Specifically, the new chair of the ultra-conservative Freedom Caucus says he and his colleagues are looking at clawing back billions in federal funds that have been targeted for electric vehicle charging stations, and electric vehicle tax credits. If we can find an offset, uh, you know, and the president and President Trump has talked about, uh, you know, electric vehicles right now not being uh, ready for prime time. Uh, I think that 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 would that could move the funding itself across the finish line. On Wednesday, we asked U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg about tying Key Bridge federal funding to disaster relief for Hurricane Helene. Certainly at a common sense level, uh, since we know that there are needs in Baltimore still with that bridge, and there are enormous needs in the Helene recovery zone, certainly could see those uh, uh, packages traveling together. Both Senator Cardin and Congressman Harris say they don't think the presidential election will affect the outcome of federal funding for the Key Bridge rebuilt. For 11 News Investigates, I'm Tolly Taylor.